Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV and welcome to 2018. I can't believe it. It seems like yesterday I was stood right here saying exactly the same, but it was 2017, but it's not. It's a year later. So I hope you had a great break. I hope you had some downtime, relax, some family time, whatever it was that you were doing over the Christmas and New Year period. I do know a lot of people in the industry were busy over that period, particularly over New Year. I saw there was one guy in the States. He had 40 40 New Year jobs. That's just unbelievable. Um, but yes, welcome back 2018. Now this time last year, I talked about New Year resolutions and goals. And I, I said how I, I don't really like the term New Year resolutions because if you, if you start something, and then say, I'm going to go to the gym five times a week, and then week two, you go once. You think, no, oh, I messed that up, didn't I? So, well, I can't have another New Year resolution. We're two weeks in. I'll have to wait till next year. So I reframed it, and, and I like to think of them as goals. And goals, you can change goals. So that's the great thing about them. So I had a, a five-point plan, really, for goal setting. That uh, We'll put the link down below on YouTube, and you can have a look at uh, last year's show. Uh, so I'm not going to go into it as, in as much detail. Um, but basically, you start with one main goal, and I think that's really important. You can have lots of goals, but one main one that you focus on. If you have lots of big, big goals, um, there is an element of being overwhelmed and not achieving any of them. So if you choose one big goal, Write it down, very important, and then plan it. So you, you, you're here at A, you want to get to B, so that you know that's what your goal is. Well, how are you going to get there? You've got to plan what it is you're going to do. And, and then once you've done that, you've got to allow for changes. And I, I was thinking of an analogy for, for this. And imagine you're, you're, you're in a sailing boat, and your goal is, is over there. Okay, I'm, I'm aiming for that goal right there. And all of a sudden, so you, 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 you know, you're sailing, you're going along, and then this big storm is coming in. It's like, oh, don't want to go into that storm. Better change my, my destination. So you change your goal over here. But what you can do is go around the storm and maybe get on track to your, to your other goal as well, your original goal. So goals can be changed uh, and there's no there's nothing wrong with doing that life changes life happens things happen in business things happen all the time and you don't know what they're going to be so you can change your goals and adapt them and then the last point on on the five point plan was really keep yourself motivated and however you do that it's really important to do that if you want to achieve that goal so uh, I, i've talked about audio books i listen to audio books i listen to people that motivate me they inspire me they get me energized and i like to do that but you might like to just go to the gym. You might be going to the gym five times a week and that's what clears your head. Um, you might like to go and do networking events, get energy from other people, like-minded people. Um, I think I've mentioned before about how I like to go to a, a training seminar or something, a conference or something like that, at least once a year. And the reason I do that is to be around like-minded, positive people. And that just really, really helps me. Watch videos on YouTube. You, you know, there's, there's so many different things you can do to keep yourself motivated, but it's important to keep that motivation going. Now, I mentioned there about like-minded, positive people. And that's something I think I'd just like to focus on for a minute or two. Being positive, be positive, that, that would be my key message for you for 2018, be positive. And I've heard this a lot in, in various forms about um, being positive and achieving what it is you want to achieve. And I'm a big believer that if you focus on the negative, you get negative results. If you focus on the positive, guess what? You get positive results. So I, I, I've been trying to analyze it and I've thought about this. There's two types of negativity, really. External negativity, the things that are, are happening to you or things that are outside your head. And obviously the other one, internal negativity, is what, what the thoughts are inside your head. Both can be difficult to deal with, um, particularly if you've, you've always had those negative thoughts and you think they are... They are normal and a clear indicator of a negative thought is if you moan and complain. So if you moan, even if it's just in your head, you don't do it out loud. If you moan and complain about things, you want to get rid of those negative thoughts. If you moan and complain about things, I've, I've talked about Morrison selling balloons. I've talked about card factory selling balloons. If you moan and complain about those sort of things, the fact of the matter is you have no influence about those things, over those things happening or not happening. So when you're moaning and complaining, you're just bringing yourself down. You're just seeing the negative. 
in it, rather than looking at the positive and saying, well, I can do something much better and very different, so I'm going to market that. So you've got your internal thoughts, and that can be really hard, because you don't want to think of yourself as being negative, and, but we, we all are to some extent, so I think try and analyse your own thoughts and think when you are being negative. And the external um, negative influences, that can be interesting, because that can be friends. It can be family members. It can be your mother, your father, your husband, your wife. And it's not that they're negative people necessarily, but they might be negative regarding one aspect of life. And that might be, for instance, your business. If you are in the balloon industry, I've talked to people and they've said, oh yeah, when I started in the industry, my other half was like, what are you doing that for? You can't make money out of balloons. And then they start making the money and the other half is like, oh, what, what are you doing there? That's interesting. How, how are you doing that? Can I help? <laughs> because they realized actually that you can make some money out of balloons. So it's much more difficult, obviously, to get rid of negativity or negative people out of your life if they are your family or very close friends. So limit it, or maybe don't have the sort of conversations that they turn all negative. Politics is one. Sometimes if you've got two really good friends but completely opposing political views, let's not talk about politics, and then you end up without that negative feeling. Um, and if you can get rid of the negative people in your life, well, do it. Get rid of them. Just don't see them as often. Don't talk to them as often. You'll see it on Facebook as well. The Facebook is a killer, by the way. Facebook, you look at Facebook, everybody's got the perfect life, haven't they? They have. Everybody's got an amazing life. They're on holiday. They've got loads of friends. They're socializing. They're out all the time. Oh, their life is amazing. And then you talk to them when you see them. Those things, oh, not very good. <laughs> so don't be too influenced by that because seeing all that positive stuff that people post can sometimes bring you down. So I think about that. that make that your goal for 2018. Be positive. Anyway. That's, that's just a, a little suggestion there. Now, we obviously had Kevin in a few months ago, Kevin, our, our business coach, and he talked about business and talked about goals and, and all of that sort of stuff. Now is a really good time to re-watch that video. We'll put the link again down below on YouTube. Um, it's a really good time to watch it because when you watch it, you realize this is not difficult. This is actually quite simple, but then you've got to go and do what it is that he's suggesting. But it is, it is simple. It's, it's really easy, so just go and have a look at that, and it might give you some inspiration and motivation for the coming year. I say New Year's resolutions, I've never been a massive fan of calling them that. However, because it's a new year, it's just an arbitrary day, isn't it, the 1st of January, but, but because it's a new year, psychologically, it's like, okay, new year, new start, new year, um, clean slate. It, psychologically, you think, okay, I can start again. Whatever happened that wasn't great last year, I can, I can get rid of that, get it out of my head, and start again. So it's quite a good time to do it. So have a, a little watch of that video when Kevin came in. BMTV 143, I think it was, but we'll put the link, put the link down below. Now, tools. What tools do you use? Now, I, I thought I'd just share with you a couple of tools that I found help in business. Now, the first one is called Trello. Now, we introduced that a few years ago. It's free. It's an online, basically, it's an online to-do list. And you can have it on your phone, you can have it on your computer. But the great thing about it is it's not just a list. It's, it's lists that various people can contribute to. So if uh, you've got one team and they want to assign some tasks to another team, they can do that. As long as they're in the position to, to do that, then it works really, really well. I have to be honest, I'm not the best user of it here in the business, but as a whole for the team, it works really, really well. So Trello, and it, it fades out if, you, if you're if you getting close to the deadline, it goes it goes gray, lighter gray, and, and you, it sort of panics you into, you know, ticking that off your list and getting things done. You can have various lists and, and various categories of lists and stuff. It, it, it works really well. So that is number one. The second is Audible. I have talked about Audible previously. It's $7.99 a month. You get an audiobook credit per month. For me, it, audiobooks work really, really well because you can listen to them when you're driving, when you're walking, when you're exercising, when you're mowing the lawn, whatever. Uh, it, and so you can, you can educate yourself, you can motivate yourself, you can become inspired, you can get ideas all of that sort of stuff. So a really useful tool for $7.99 a month. I'd highly recommend that one. And, and ne the next one is uh, called Receipt Bank. And I talked about, I think we've been using that, we only started that last year. Now Receipt Bank basically takes your PDF invoices from your suppliers, scans it in, 
gets the relevant information like the amount and the VAT and the, the name of the supplier and everything, and then just automatically puts that into your accounting software. We use Zero for our accounting software. And it just works really well. I reckon it's probably saved us five hours a week at least here in the business. And the last thing I discovered today, I was actually marketed to on Facebook, and it's a company called Best Self. And it's called bestself.co, not .co.uk, just .co. And if it's more for if you're the sort of person that likes to write things down, you like pieces of paper. So it's fancy stationery that's got to-do lists, weekly to-do lists. It's got planners, it's got bookmarks, it's got all sorts of, of things like that, but really nicely done. So check that out. I've not used it myself, but bestself.co might be something that would work for you. Right now, just a little bit of news, unfortunately, with a new year comes some price increases from various suppliers. So our feathers are gonna be going up. Um, in fact, they have gone up now because we got an email today saying, here's your order. By the way, the prices have gone up. So our prices have gone up for the feathers. Qualitex prices are going to be going up in February, the 1st of February. So if you, um, want to have a saving to get your Qualtex stuff in before the 1st of February. We'll be putting our prices up on balloon market uh, on the same day as, as Qualitex. So it's, uh, yeah, you can get a saving. They're going up. Some things aren't going up. So I've got the letter here that I got this morning. Um, the microfoil balloons, they're, they're not changing, so that's good. And the party wear, that's not changing either. Bubble balloons, it looks like it's gonna be 3% and latex balloons, they're gonna be 3% and some are gonna be a bit more than that. So um, that's gonna happen on the 1st of February. Now, as you may be aware, if you're a regular user of Balloon Market, you know that after a season's ended, so Christmas has just ended, we then put all the remaining seasonal stock that we've got into our clearance section and discount it quite heavily. So if you want a bargain for next Christmas, then go over to the clearance section, have a look there and see what, see what you can get. Uh, you do have to sit on it for a year, but obviously you're making a saving and of course the prices haven't gone up as they will be doing on the 1st of February if you get Qualitex stuff. And the last thing I wanted to talk about was our sail balloons. Our sail balloons, we sell them latex ones, foil ones. If you are having a sale yourself, if you know any of your customers are having a sale, then it might be something that you want to consider. Again, we'll put the link down below. Right, that's it from me. The question of the week, what tools do you use or apps or anything like that? Leave your comments down below and on Facebook or on YouTube and I'll see you next time. Have a great 2018. Bye for now. Bye.